Speaking of the avalanche warnings, I want to go ahead and get to the next graphic that we have up here, which is the uh, Utah Avalanche Center's Avalanche Danger Scale Rating. Oh my. And so, this is the first time this year that we've seen that extreme rating, and, and that's up in the Logan Area Mountains. The rest of northern Utah is under that high danger, and what an avalanche warning is, is it's pretty much the Utah Avalanche Center saying, stay out of the backcountry if you can, and if you do have plans to go into the backcountry, you want to stay out from under and on top of slopes that are steeper than 30 degrees. So if you think about a, a straight vertical wall, you want to take about a third of that. And that's a pretty low angle. I mean, avalanches can happen on some pretty shallow slopes. It's not just the steepest, rockiest slopes that avalanches occur on. And uh, that avalanche warning goes through Saturday at 6 a.m. But they have the habit of posting them for just a 24 hour period, maybe 36 hours, and then they'll go out and re-evaluate, re reissue these things again. And I imagine those avalanche danger scales are gonna start to go up over the next couple of days, even here across the Wasatch Front. Ooh, so I guess if, if you've got any plans, just they're canceled. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And I any just... plans that aren't staying home or maybe getting snow tires, yep. just, just don't. Exactly, yeah, well, stay inside, eat some, I was gonna say eat some soup, but. <laughs> There are some That's people. Soup. There are some people who are determined to go out. I'm probably going to be one of them for an event this weekend. Uh -oh. All right. So talking about avalanches, uh, you want to take a look at this video uh, from today. Pretty, pretty extreme. This is over in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, avalanche fears. The town of Alta had an inner lodge overnight. Look at this, and that meant that no one could basically come or go from that space. That is pretty, pretty dramatic there. And we also have photos, you wanna look at these, uh, from our viewer, Tanner Gittens. Uh, this is what Logan Canyon looked like this morning. Highway Patrol closed Highway 89 through there and Logan Canyon is not expected to open back up until as late as midnight tonight. One car was hit by the avalanche and it was stuck in the snow. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Yeah, clearly we just got those warnings about avalanche and already avalanche is happening. And with, I mean, feet and feet and feet of snow are gonna hit the mountains. I imagine we'll get more of those real avalanches probably happening this weekend. Yeah, and it's the wind too. It's not just all about the snow. So what I imagine that they're doing is they're gonna be waiting for those winds to die down later tonight and then go in there and try to maybe uh, bring some avalanches on the back of trucks to try to um, get some stuff going on purpose just so it doesn't happen when it's uncontrolled. And maybe they'll even bring some helicopters in to drop some explosives. But I imagine that they're gonna be waiting until maybe nine or 10 o'clock tonight before that front rolls through and then the winds sort of calm down and things kind of start to settle out.